What's up guys, it's hail 2 maniac here, and today I'm going to show you the Arduino breadboard. Now this video is the first in a series of Arduino workshop projects about building the Arduino yourself, um, using uh, sensors, uh, stuff like that, and it's going to be just simple 30 minute workshop projects that are really fun. So here's the breadboard right here, and as you can see there is an LED blinking. That is the code that I have loaded on it. Now we'll take a quick tour of it and then I'll move on to the tutorial. So essentially that right there is this. Here is a uh, Arduino USB board, but the only difference is that this is smaller and this uses RS-232, but if you really need USB, you can always go on eBay and for three bucks you can get a USB to RS-232 converter. They work. You know, you don't need anything else. So, on board, there is an AT Mega 328 right there. Um, there is a Max 232 chip for communication, which steps the computer serial, uh, the computer RS-232, down to uh, 5 volt TTL levels for the uh, microcontroller. There is the voltage regulator right there, and a wall power supply as well as the other small components that uh, get everything working. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and uh, keep watching. Now here's the parts that you're going to need to do this project. Um, the parts list is in the uh, video description so check that out. Here is a close-up of um, the parts. Most of these can be obtained at SparkFun. Actually, all of them can. Here is a close-up of the USB to serial converter, which you can get off eBay for about $3, as I said in the video. Here are your basic supplies. You need hookup wire to hook up the breadboard. The solder wick is optional. The breadboard jumpers are um, recommended, and the solder is for the solder cup. Here's your basic tools, um, soldering iron, uh, there's wire snippers, and, or wire clippers, and a wire stripper, plus a voltmeter. Now this is um, the first step, you want to put the two chips on the board, make sure the little um, uh, leg notch is facing forward. Here is the um, AT Mega with the reset switch in place and a 10, uh, the, there it is, uh, it's a 10,000 ohm resistor, uh, pull up resistor, hooked up to the uh, first reset pin. Um, here is the uh, ceramic resonator in place behind the chip. Uh, this is the Max 232. Now notice um, at the front the uh, small um, notch that is the front of the chip. Now add the first capacitor. Here's the second capacitor put in place. And notice the blue jumper to pin 6. And then there's a third capacitor that you have to add to the Max 232. There is a fourth capacitor that uh, shows up in a little bit. Now this is the uh, uh, voltage regulator and you have to add these wires to the uh, buses on the side to give the board power. And here's the other side. Now I ran power from to both buses on each side so it's positive and negative on both of the sidebars. You have to add a um, small capacitor to the Arduino power input and uh, the two cables. for positive and negative to the Arduino. There is the ceramic resonator connected to the microcontroller pins. Uh, it's a close up. Now the uh, text is facing this way so make sure it's like that. I don't think it really matters but this is how it is in my uh, breadboard. Uh, on the other side of the Arduino add these three cables two go to uh, positive and one goes to negative. Make sure they go to the correct pins. Uh, here's the MAX-232 with the red and black um, T2 
TX and RX cables in place. Uh, there's a capacitor on the power input for that, and uh, the two uh, power input cables. Here, the RX and TX cables connected to the R or the AT Mega 328. Um, that's the whole view of it connected from the AT Mega 328 to the Max 232. Here's a, uh, your basic solder cup, and that's the pin out right there. So check that out. There's the DTR pin is for the auto reset feature, which I will describe in a moment. Now the pin in between the red and black cable is the DTR pin. And this is, uh, you have to connect the first cable to ground. Uh, the second black cable to that pin on the MAX-232 and the red cable to the next pin on the MAX-232. Okay guys, I got the uh, code uploading to work, but I'm, I'm going to make a mod right at the end of the video. Once you set up the board, you can upload code, but the problem is that you have to do the manual reset by pushing the button while you upload code and if you don't do it in sync correctly and if you push the button and then upload the code Arduino it will freeze for about 15-20 seconds the board will keep on going doing its thing and then Arduino will give you an error and you know you can only do it like three times a minute so it can get kind of annoying trying to do it so what I did is I took the serial cable Here's the board with the DTR auto reset pin installed. Um, and here it is close up. That's the pin out. Um, it's basically the DTR pin and a 0.1 UF capacitor. And um, the pin in between the black and red cable is the DTR. I'm going to change the delay on this code to 500. 500. So it's ready to go. I just have to go click upload. Here we go. Yeah, where's it going? Oh, there it goes. And done uploading binary sketch. Now you can see it's um, much slower now. The um, reset pin or the DTR pin out of this goes up to 10 volts. Um, a guy on the uh, Arduino website posted a whole little thing of a jig on it by modifying old boards. And he said that it goes up to 10 volts, so it shouldn't go over 12. And the Arduino reset pin is 12 volt tolerable, so you shouldn't, you shouldn't uh, do any harm to it, but it's at your own risk. So that's the uh, Arduino tutorial, and there'll be more. So stay tuned.